Hi again, Ian. I figured out my sound a little bit better. Um, it'll be a lot better this time. There's nothing to worry about in hearing everything I have to say this time because I know what all my problems were and I've solved them all. So, life in other galaxies. Um, I like this idea. Um, I have an additional idea uh, to augment that, but it's the idea that galaxies are, in a way, living. Um, the evidence that we have contradicts what the laws of motion say should be happening. Um, the spiral galaxy that is kept in a spiral somehow is kept that way defying what would make sense. They have sorts, all sorts of theories. One commenter on this video talked about the black hole at the center of the galaxy that is hypothesized to be there in order to send things spiraling. But if that's not the way it is, then it appears galaxies are self-organizing somehow. Um, they are too complex and the number of stars that are in galaxies shouldn't actually be there. Um, stars, the creation of star systems and in huge quantities is something that the regular laws of motion don't suggest readily. It makes more sense that all the matter would be in a lump in the middle instead of evenly, fairly evenly distributed around the whole span. And, well, if galaxies are organized by themselves, or by the, like, I don't think it would be possible for life forms on, based on planets to create the structure of the galaxy. That doesn't make a lot of sense because planets have to form before planet-based life it arises. So, I think of the ancient Egyptians and the, and several billions of other cultures, I'm sure, that uh, believed the heavenly bodies were alive, that they had minds. Um, Ra, the sun. Um, why not a star be alive and conscious and a whole galaxy, even? Um, there's nothing rational about this lump of matter supporting consciousness. It's I'm just a lump of matter, according to science. And so my consciousness must be quite unique and special in terms of the matter, because you can't get consciousness by throwing stones in a pile. Uh, you, no matter how many stones you throw or how intricately you throw them, they're not going to turn into a mind. So if all I am is matter, then I'm just these particles bumping into each other, just like the stars, just like the galaxies. And if I have consciousness and I'm matter, other things that are matter can have consciousness. I have a mind that uh, deals with living things and sleeping things and eating things and talking about things and making music like the song you're hearing now. Um, yeah, I think that galaxies could be aware. The electricity you talk about. It might be a cognitive force, a cognitive fundamental 
process or mechanism or structure, and that might be what consciousness is. Your term for electricity might just be a way of saying consciousness, that the consciousness flows everywhere. Um, that's what I have to, that's my best interpretation of why you're, what you're talking about sometimes, and, uh, well, yeah, what do you think about that? Does that make any sense to you? Alright, the song's ending, and I've gotten to the end of what I had to say, so, peace.